situations begin with pushing and shoving. Each opponent trying to get control of the other. Now, many times in this situation, most both opponents don't want to fight each other because if they did, a punch would have been thrown. So potentially, they're trying to show off in front of their friends or their pride is at stake. So you have the opportunity to be able to control the situation before it gets out of hand. Let's give it a go. So we start off in this pushing, shoving situation. When Xavier's pushing me, I'm pushing him, no one's really getting control. But what I want to do is get control of the situation without my opponent knowing. So from here, I want to bring my hands in on the inside. Okay? This way, if it comes into a bit of a punching, if he goes to hook punch me, okay? Hook punch me hard. Okay, I can control it. Okay? Um, if he goes to punch me with the other hand as well, I've got control. If he wants to put me in a headlock, I've got control. So, what I can also do, if I want to make a quick release, I can keep holding onto the bicep muscle over here and bring my other arm across into what we call a seatbelt release, a front seatbelt release. I place my hand on his shoulder, diagonally across just like you would with a seatbelt in the car, and as he's pushing and shoving me, I can release him from here to stop the situation getting out of control. The clinch using the front seat belt release. Woo! Bravo.